My name is Susana Rodriguez, and today we'll be going over the Osmium database training and how to access it. We'll be reviewing accessing a file, creating a file, and file attachments, then the tabs within the attachments. Accessing a file. In order to access a file, in the search engine box, we would type in the name, whether it's the first or last name of the client, select enter, and then the client name would pop up in blue, as you see here. We would select that by double clicking on it, opening the client file. In order to do this, or the importance of doing this, is so that we can see if a client has been there before, and if so, then we can better help them and assist them, and if not, then we would create a new file. The client file would look like this once it's open. And then we would start entering the information here in these sections where it says um, primary staff, the client's name and information, their current status, whether they're married, their living location, and phone number. Um, we would enter the client information, the children information, and the offender information within these tabs down here. Um, we would also enter any kind of activity sessions here, we would select new and that would be any kind of phone call conversations, any new clients that would have came in, um, or any kind of conversations that we would have had while the client was in our agency. Incidents can be criminal or civil, whether there's current warrants or a criminal charge against that person, um, the offender that is. Also, if there's a civil action like a domestic violence protective order, we would enter the court dates in our database. Also, the emergency contact, very important to be able to have an emergency contact for a client in the case that something was to occur and making sure that we also have a release of information to be able to release any information. And then the local resources that are available to this client and that were provided by our agency would also go in the resource tab. To attach a file, this can be any kind of pictures, court documents, civil documents, warrants onto the client file so that they can have access to it or any kind of release of information so that we have access to it. We would select the client file, scroll down to the tab bar to where it says file attachments and open the file attachments. We would select new and then we would uh, select the attachment bar and scroll down through the files, um, select the file, rename it and save it. Tabs within the client file consist of several. We would see the activity sessions, the progress notes, child dependence, the offender, um, resources, health information, contact information for emergencies, and the incidents. Some of the other things that we'll see is also the legal tabs for the incident reports, the stays if they've been at the shelter, waiting list, surveys, and file attachments. For additional resources and training opportunities, please visit our website. Thank you.